All right, so now we're going to look at another drastic change. This one comes up all the time. How would I put a hole through this mesh from here to here? Okay, how would that happen? Well, the good news is it's very easy. First off, I want to grab all these, move them up, control R, put this down, and then I have to state what size hole? Where does the hole need to be? I'm going to put the hole in this area right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, destroy faces on both sides. Now, right now, this isn't going to look too pleasant. It's a hole, sure. Um, of course, let's look at it topology wise for a second. Let's go to wireframe and you can see that I'm getting those pulled vertices again. Okay. I'm also getting a, an absolute no, no is the fact that there's going to be a form change. And then I have this going on. Okay. Look at quad, then this hyper quad, and we do not want this vertice to be here. Okay. Well, how do I handle that? Again, very easy. Let's grab some edges. In this case, I can, I think I can use, yeah, Alt and Shift. Alt and Shift on here. And let's take and extrude those. Control E, right click, then go right into R, and just a little bit in Z, a little bit in X. Okay, well, let's look at this topology wise now. If I hit tab, you can see I have now moved that form up a little bit. So now the extraordinary vertice is here instead of being right on the lip of the change. Okay, that's good. Now, all I'm going to do is highlight the vertices here. I guess a better way to do this is, yeah, control, right click, oh, and be in vertice mode. And I only want this vertice. So I'm holding down shift and control. There we go. Then control. So control will add to the vertice selection. What I don't want is this vertice and this vertice. Well, what happens? Well, I can scale this in, but look what's happening. It's a diamond. Okay. So what do I need here? I need an edge. And I need an edge. Let me just manually highlight these vertices because I don't want it to be about uh, selection tricks here. I want you to focus, ninja focus on the form change. Okay, so here, highlighted those vertices. I'm just going to scale them in just a little bit, scale them in this way. And all of a sudden, I'm getting more of a rounded cylinder. Okay. And again, if I hit tab, you can see that becomes a lot more rounded because of that. And then all I'm doing really is grabbing an edge here and here, hitting F. Sometimes you have to tilt it, and sometimes it helps being in different modes. So if you, if you can't focus because you're seeing through the mesh, that button right there, so I don't see the way through it. F. Okay, let's see what happens. 
There's a hole through the mesh. And it has good flow. Of course, you could adjust all that by just, you know, adjusting these right here. Now it's much easier to box select. And you can kind of go like that. There we go. Pretty neat. So another drastic form change, in this case, one that comes up all the time, is trying to poke a hole through something. And that's how you do it. Let's go on to the next video.